A big day out for Holden fans with the annual Open Day at Gary Rogers Motorsport in Dandenong. Apart from the team's current lineup of cars, there were a few old memories of the past, although the only Volvo anywhere to be found was the team's transporter. Apart from the race cars, there were a number of cool Holden road cars on hand as well, including a couple of these very early models. There was also this Bentley GT3, but we're not talking about that. Yet. Team drivers Garth Tander and James Moffat were on hand to sign autographs and pose for pictures, although their minds were already focused on the unique challenges of Tasmania's Simmons Plains, side of next week's second round of the championship. The big thing with Simmons Plains is obviously trying to get in and around the hairpin and then get good traction off. So uh, that's probably what you spend most of your weekend in terms of focusing with the setup. Uh, so important to have a good car under brakes as well, but uh, also good traction off the corners. It's one of those circuits that looks probably pretty simple on paper, but it's far from that. It's very technical actually and um, characterised obviously by the hairpin. So it's important to get around there and then get off there well because it leads onto the long back straight. So uh, yeah, it's good fun little track. It's always very close racing down there and uh, the times are always very close as well. Moffat spent last year behind the wheel of the team's Volvo, but the shock decision of the company to pull out of supercar racing has left the team a little behind the pack in terms of development. Certainly the, the fabulous work that everybody at GRM did in the off-season, uh, they meant that they really didn't have any holidays. Uh, they were stuck into building four cars, not just uh, our two main game cars, but the Dunlop Series cars as well. So uh, it's probably put us a little bit behind our competition relative in terms of um, development. Uh, over the off season, we were focused on purely just building cars rather than developing cars and uh, getting an understanding of the new tyre that we have this year. But uh, a couple of rounds into the, the year already, I think uh, we're probably ahead of where we thought we would be and uh, we feel like we're only going to get better. Uh, there's been quite a bit of a difference uh, between the two uh, cars I guess yeah the Volvo and the, the Commodore clearly the, the aero package is, is different between the two but also the engine side of things has been uh, quite a bit different and how the uh, the Walkinshaw engine de delivers its power and a few other bits and pieces so so far the, the package overall has been probably more reliable than what we had last year so we're looking forward to that for the rest of the year. The new Dunlop Super Soft tyres made their debut at last weekend's non-championship shootout on the streets of Albert Park and James was grateful for the chance to get some experience on them before this weekend at Simmons Plains. We haven't done a whole heap of running on the super soft tyre. The Grand Prix was the first time that we ran that tyre, so uh, we'll get to understand that a bit more over the weekend at Tasmania, and um, hopefully we can find a bit more speed out of it. It's been a busy few weeks for the team with last weekend's Grand Prix support show, but despite not being a championship round, James says he doesn't view it as any different to any other race. Uh, with it not being a championship race for me personally, I approach it exactly how I would at a normal round. So uh, we go there and, and put our best foot forward and um, I guess the only thing with the Grand Prix is if you do happen to have a, a bad race or two, uh, then you don't have uh, championship points on the line so uh, it's a bit easier to, to handle. But uh, s saying all that, we, uh, we definitely go there and, and try our very best.